I'm going to discuss the process of importing contours from a shapefile. I know a lot of you are doing it, and some of you are getting contours that are coming in with no elevations. There's a reason for that. Let me go ahead and explain. First of all, on my screen, you're going to see I have the shapefile and all its supporting data files. It is important that all these data files remain in the same folder with the shapefile. This is what the shapefile uses to read and import the data. Now let's jump into Civil 3D. So in Civil 3D, I temporarily do not need the tool space. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and I'm going to bring up the map workspace. I can either type in map W S P A C E map W space, or I can come up here to the palettes, pull down in the home tab and find the, the map workspace right here, regardless of which way I do. I'm going to have to look at the command line because it's asking me right here. Do I want to turn it on or off? I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And this is the map workspace. I'm going to be hanging out right here in the map explorer tab. Okay, let's just leave that up for now. Now let's go ahead and bring in the map. I'm sorry, the, the shape files that I was discussing earlier. So the command is map import. And I will then navigate over to the file. I have it over here on our H drive projects in this temporary folder I created. And here it is. I'm going to let it populate this dialog box that will soon appear. And I see that the coordinate zone for this shapefile is TX83 central zone US foot. This drawing does not have a coordinate zone. So I can actually use this right here to assign it to this drawing right now. I'm going to type in TX83 CF, or I can use this to go browse and find it in this list. Again, I can just start typing and it will start populating as needed. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to type it in right here, hit OK, and you're going to see that this drawing now has the coordinate zone that I need. These are the layers that are going to be created with all the contours coming in on that layer. I must select the object data here. So I'm going to select the data tab, the data column, and go click this button right here. I need to connect to the object data. This is that database file that was one of the supporting files for the shape file. And in that database file, if I go look over here, you'll see these are the items that I can use to connect to. One of them, the one that I'm really concerned with, is elevation. Now, the shape file can have an elevation, it can say Z value, you can say ELEV, it can say whatever it wants. Whoever created this shapefile is the one who named this feature right here. So this could change from one shapefile to another. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click OK. Now the last thing I want to do is import polygons as closed polylines. Therefore a closed polygon or polyline I should say does not connect itself and make a region just as basically it looks like a hatch across my entire screen. I don't need that. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to let it go through and import all the contours that are in that shape file. And when I do, I'm going to do a zoom extents. There they are. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom to any one of them. I'm going to pick a small one because if I would have selected a larger one, it would take a while. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to the uh, properties. And I'm going to show you that this contour that I have on my screen, it has an elevation of zero right there. So you're saying, well, what use is that to me? Well, that elevation is zero. However, right here, these are those uh, items from the object data that has an elevation of 541. So this is very important to me, but how do I get this to go into a drawing in which I can then use to generate contours or a surface uh, in Civil 3D? Well, that's the trick. You got to do it by uh, attaching this to another drawing and querying it in. So with this now done, I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to put it in that same folder, H projects, my folder, I'm going to call this one site contours. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put a line right there. Okay, so site contours. Now that I've got this here, I no longer need this drawing open. I'm going to go ahead and close this drawing. I'm going to start a brand new drawing. Now, I'm going to assign this drawing the same coordinate system as the contours. However, I do not need to do that. If I had a different coordinate system, I can assign it that one. The way Civil 3D and Map 3D work is it should transform 
the data from one coordinate system to another should they be different coordinate systems. But in this case, I'm going to just keep them the same. So I'm going to have to go over back and bring up the tool space and go to the settings tab, right click and edit the drawing settings. And I'm going to assign it TXA3-CF. I'm going to hit apply and OK. And I, I guess it turned off my map workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and close the tool space, bring up the map workspace again, turn that on. And I'm going to hover in here now. This is where I need to work. OK, so now I need to attach the file that we just created, the site contours, and query in the data. So therefore, I can work with just what I need. To do that, I'm going to head over here to the, the drawing section in the Map Explorer tab. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Attach. Now, I don't have access to the H drive here, so I have to map it. So I'm going to select this button right here to map it. I'm going to go down here to where it says Drive Alias. I'm going to call it H. I can call it H drive or H or whatever I want to call it. But the actual path, I'm going to browse and I'm going to then come down here to the drives and select H. And I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to add this. And this is now one of my options in this list when I go to this look in. So I'm going to go ahead and close. And now I have access to the H drive. And I put that folder, that file in the projects folder and I put it under my. Uh, special folder here. I'm going to attach the site contours drawing. I'm going to leave it here. There it is. Think of this as uh, attaching an extra. However, I don't see anything until I query the data in, but it's kind of like an XREF with more power. It's got, I, there's more things I can do with it and we're not going to get into the depth of what can be done. I'm just getting into what I need to get the contours. So now I'm going to come over here to the current query and I'm going to right click and I go define and I'm going to do location. I always start off with location all first and I do the preview. So I execute the query. Do not click OK because OK will not show you what you need. I need to execute the query. I'm going to do a double click of my middle button to zoom extends. This is just a preview of the contours, but they're now here and this is where it would fall. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the contours in my drawing. I may or may not want the whole item. I, if I come back over here to the query and define it, I can change this location by editing this and do something like, let's just do a polyline or a window. And I want anything that crosses that window. So I'm going to go define that and I'm going to say I'm going to work in this section right here and I'm going to click OK. And when I go to preview that, I'm going to see only the polylines. Oh, I need to do a region, sorry. I'm going to then execute the query as a preview. I see only the polylines that cross that section. OK, so now I'm going to go back over here and redefine that. Now I need those polylines to have the elevations to them. To do so, I need to come over here to the Alter Properties button. I need to select on the Elevation Radial button. And I'm going to come down here to the Expressions button. I'm going to expand Object Data because this is where I'm pulling in the information from, that object data that ships with the shapefile. If you don't have an object data file, then you won't be able to do this. I mean, a, a, a database file. So here I have this and I'm going to select elevation. I want to, I want to bring in the elevation data, click. Okay. Click add. And now it's one of my options here. I'm going to click. Okay. And now I'm going to draw this. I will not be able to see elevations until I draw this. So I'm going to select draw and I'm going to execute the query. And by executing the query, I am bringing in the, the lines, the polylines. As you can see, I only brought in this section right here. I don't need to bring in the whole thing if I don't want to. But now these items are here. And if I look at this, let's go look at the properties. They have an elevation that I can now use. With that said, before I do anything else, I must then detach this drawing. Because if I do anything to these lines, I'm going to constantly be getting a notification that I need to um, I need to save back to the original file. So I'm going to detach this and now I'm done. I can now use these files to create a civil 3D surface. Hopefully this helps.